Hey everybody, HMV here. I am our Kerbal Space Program and we are uh, exploring Ike and Luna is doing it. She's actually already transferred herself into this patch here, but she's going to go EVA. First of all, to get a to get an experiment and second of all, because we're going to get more Explore Ike stuff for that. Uh, we already got the Rendezvous to Ships part of the Explore Ike. The only thing we have yet to do is um, return from a flyby, which I guess this is going to count uh, as a flyby, <laughs> even though we're in orbit. But uh, I've I've docked these two things together, and I filled up her fuel tanks, and we're going to undock here. And now she should be set up with the science experiment thing. Now, see, it's disabled again. We're going to transfer everything to that experiment storage unit. And she's also going to start doing... Uh, yeah, see, she can reset experiments now, which is going to be fantastic. Um, let's actually, actually perform all science. Reset all science. Uh, don't know where that came from. <laughs> Okay, restarting the whole thing works, so I don't know what exactly was wrong, but I fixed it. So if we add a maneuver here, bring our periapsis down to about, let's say, let's say 10. I don't know what's good on Ike, but 10 seems reasonable. And then at this periapsis, we will just completely stop. 422, yeah, we've got 1638. We have plenty of Delta V to do this. So let's go ahead and do it. Um, Go ahead and should be resetting. Yeah, there's definitely something going on with this thing not being able to reset. So let's uh let's try this here. Perform all science. Collect all the science. Reset all the science. I just close the doors. Is that enough? And there's definitely something wrong with the materials bay. It's not doing something. I can't reset it. I'm just going to live without it. We'll, 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 we'll say that it got broken. <laughs> I'm not going to deal with it. This seems to be the same way. So, oh well. Okay, it really doesn't matter when I do this burn, so I'm going to do it now. All I really care about is a periapsis around 10. I'm sure we'll be fine. <laughs> now, in theory, as long as as long as we have, uh, looks like we're gonna have full control the whole time. We're we're like bouncing off everybody here, but uh, looks like we'll be fine. We'll just come down. I'd like to get over this ridge before we uh, decide what we're gonna do here. This looks like a pretty good place to land. It's gonna take us a minute to do this burn. Okay, there are no batteries on this guy. How much... Oh, did we get a... Oh, we already saw that stuff. Um, yeah, we don't have any batteries on this guy, so I'm a little leery to, uh, to, to close the solar panels, but I'm going to close one of them. Just to make sure, if we, if we break one, then we, then we don't break them both. We still have one for the remainder of the mission. This guy's thrust to weight isn't fantastic. Well, it is actually. Thrust to weight of seven is fantastic, but it's it's not fantastic, you know, for Kerbin. <laughs> it's not the most efficient way to do this, but it will get the job done. Uh, let's go into surface mode now. Just pushing this sideways so that it's perfectly down. Okay, and then we're going to aim retrograde. And uh, the burn is going to be 14 seconds. I'm going to hit F5 here. The burn is going to be 14 seconds. It's in 70 seconds. Go ahead and make sure. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, we got a we, we got a EVA. I don't want to aim. Oh, target mode. 
surface mode retrograde. There we go. 14 second burn in 54 seconds. Now I'm going to hit F5. Just letting ourselves come down and landed. Nice. And the probe can hold on. Good. Okay. We should have just gotten all the science and transferred it into here. We have 14 science data in here. Go ahead and hop out. Definitely want to get her flag planted. Probably want to do that with everybody, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. Okay. Don't actually want the flag. Uh, she, yeah, she already got all of her things. And now let's just get back into orbit. Mostly watching my apoapsis here. And my my making sure I'm continuously going up. And then I can get my apoapsis up to about 10. And then we'll be good to go here. We're going back to the station. Yeah, somehow we got stored data in here. Probably storing it there when it can't store it in here. Collect all data. Yeah. Oh no, there's only one in here, so it did it did collect some of the data. There we go, Luna lives. We still got 500 some odd meters per second left in the tank. Let's see what it's gonna take to get out to, uh, to actually escape into a Duna orbit. 146, yeah, you know what? We're, get, we're actually gonna do this right now. We're gonna do this right now. Just get rid of all, get all the science done. That way, um, when the Kerbin, I'm sorry, the Duna Kerbin window comes back, HMV can take off with all that science and get it back to Kerbin. Again, we don't actually care about the maneuver node so much as the result of the maneuver node, which is getting out of Ike's sphere of influence. So let's go ahead and do that. I love how the relays actually are working. <laughs> it makes me so happy. Okay, we are in orbit of Duna now. All we want to do is hop out, get this EVA report, hop back in, um, and then get back to, to Ike, which is going to require Ike be set as a target. Uh, let's see, we're going faster. So if we speed up right now, actually if we just burn like this, there we go. Yeah, that works out pretty well, although it's terrible as far as as far as that's concerned. So maybe we want it to be as high as possible which is basically that. <laughs> okay, we'll do that. We'll see we'll see how that works. And no, I don't know exactly what I'm doing. I'm mostly making this up as I go along. There we go. Good enough for me. Okay, now when we enter Ike's sphere of influence, uh this is our target. We're going to be coming in this way. So when we get here, we're going to want to go like, yeah, Actually, that's pretty much, wait, no, when we get here, we're just going to want to fix our ascending node. Then when we get here, we're going to want to burn like this and a little retrograde. And that's going to cost 262. Ooh, it's going to be tight, but I think we're going to make it. We'll pretend I set the fuel budget to that. 
That was could have been done better. Okay. Now we've got this maneuver node and it's still pretty much the same. And probably kill some of the if we do eighty. Eight. <laughs> we want to be we want to be in slightly different orbits is the thing. So that we'll eventually meet up with each other. Um, and I think right now time is more important than, uh, or fuel is more important than time, because we don't have to be back to Kerbin for another year and change. So we're going to get these orbits close to each other, and then we're just going to wait for the nearest, uh, the nearest hit. And now. Yeah, actually, I might stop it closer to here. Can I do this here? If we, yeah, if we just slow down just a little bit right now. So let's aim ourselves retrograde. Let's just do it without the maneuver node. We can we can hit it next. Oh no! I guess we want to aim ourselves prograde. <laughs> we can just get to it on the next orbit, and then we've fixed our problem. There we go. 1.6 kilometers. We got 155 meters per second left. Now, if we had a maneuver here to bring ourselves in line and faster. It's a mere 46 meters per second. We, we're going to have 100 left over. That's ridiculous. That's so much. <laughs> we have a, we're out of electric charge? How are we out of electric charge? Oh, is the sun? Where's the sun in comparison to us? Oh, it's behind Duna. Okay, well, we'll be... We'll have electric charge soon, if we don't have it now. There we go, now we have electric charge. Okay, we probably don't need this even. Let's just let's just close this. We'll we'll do this uh the old fashioned way here. Although by by the old fashioned way I mean with nav HUD. There we go says we're going to be 0.4 kilometers away, which is perfectly fine. Our target's down there somewhere. Oh, look, you can see it. Duna Station 1 ship. I love uh, the distant enhancement, how you can do that. Okay, I'm going to hit F5 here. There we go. Z 0, 0.0. What could possibly go wrong? And it's two minutes and 17 seconds away, where our estimated burn is three seconds. We've still got 136 meters per second left in the tank. And we're basically stopped. The ship is basically just going to take all the fuel out of the station, um, and then when we uh, when we send up the ISRU ship that will be coming up in the next uh, in the next transfer window, it's going to uh, it'll have extra fuel in it. There we go. And hopefully, the ship will have enough fuel to get back to. Uh, to get back to Kerbin. We could actually just dump this off. I think we're going to. We're going to just disconnect this and uh, crash it into Ike here at our Apoapsis when the time comes. Okay, we've got all the fuel we can get. So we're going to transfer Luna back into here. We are going to transfer HMV. Uh, 
into here. Uh, Luna's going to do one more thing. She's going to hop out here. She's going to take all the science out of everywhere. She's also going to, as always, watch the solar panels. No science in here. And she's going to take the science out of here very carefully. She's going to put it all in the pod with HMV. Except for seven of them, which I guess she'll just keep. <laughs> Those are duplicates. Now HMV is ready to undock. We don't care about anything that this can generate anymore. He has a thousand meters per second left in the tank, and that'll be more once we do this. So we're going to add a maneuver node here to just go a little bit retrograde until our periapsis is touching Ike. We'll probably bring a science lab out next time we come. Not for the science, but for the uh, ability to train Kerbals remotely. Okay, we don't actually need this maneuver node, so I'm not going to bother with it. We'll just get ourselves up to the apoapsis here. Burn our periapsis down. 10 is probably fine, but we might as well go down until it's actually under there. Then I'm going to eject this thing. And then we're going to aim ourselves prograde. Oh, I just realized. Yeah, I I'm going to I'm going to count that in, and delete it anyway. Um I ejected it retro or I ejected it prograde, which means it's going to it's going to stay in uh in Ike orbit, but I'm going to I'm going to count that and d delete it manually pretending that I did it. <laughs> Cuz I don't want to deal with it. Uh, we also need to make sure we're not going to crash into it. There you go, get our thing up. Now, that's it for the episode, I think. I think we're good. I think we're good, and I think we're done. Um, HMV is going to be coming home in a year. Um, we're going to be sending off the EVE satellite before then. Let's head back to the Space Center, see if we got any more satellite contracts. I'm probably not going to show you the, the EVE satellite thing. Um, I might show it show you it arriving at EVE, but I don't, I don't think that there's any reason to uh, do that. We're going to accept this. We're not going to do this one, though. We'll do this one. Um, conduct observational surveys of Ike. We're not going to do that. Um, science data from space around Duna. We're just going to take that because we're going to get it. Um, and I think that's good. Uh, but yeah, that's what uh, next time I'm probably going to be bringing HMV home. And then we're also going to be launching the, uh, the next ISRU ship up to Duna. And uh, we'll see what happens from there. I hope you enjoyed watching this. I definitely enjoyed playing it. I'm HMV and I will, as always, talk at you later.